Hi, my name is Dai Sato and I am nine years old. I came to Canada four years ago from Japan and lived in Calgary for two years. And for, when I first saw a movie or heard a story about war, I thought it was just fiction or that they were just playing because I never thought there was anything in the world that was violent or something that would hurt people or hurt people's feelings. I have seen movies like Barefoot Again and Grave of the Fireflies. In both movies, I saw people dying because of war. And that has been a strong feeling, a really strong feeling from my heart came up to my mind. I don't want war, and I want to help people who are harmed by war. I have learned that there was a nuclear bomb dropped into Nagasaki and Hiroshima about 60 years ago, at 68 years ago, and and the nuclear bomb killed 15,000 people by the heat that went up. 7,000 degrees Celsius, and it is the same temperature as the sun. Everything melted at the moment, and people were burned. Their skin was all brown and black, and it was just terrible. And next was the blast. The blast was able to rip up buildings, and people were flattened on the ground. Especially the windows were all broken, and the glass lets people or went further down into their body. Most of all, the radiation caused the people to have cancer or leukemia. In those days, they could not, the doctors could not fix cancer or leukemia, so later, it made a huge disaster. And many people died. Even though it has been 68 years from the nu nuclear bomb made a disaster, people could still be harmed from the damage. That, and that is why we can't have war, especially war with nuclear bombs. I have practiced karate and I have learned important things from it. We have to refrain from violent behavior. Be respect others and be faithful. SGI Keda once said, not just seeking for our own happiness, we should act for the happiness of others. All these altruistic actions contribute to our own happiness. When I get older, one of my dreams is to be part of UNICEF and work for the children who suffer from disasters like earthquakes, tsunamis, and worms. I always think about a wonderful world that is filled with delight when I think of UNICEF. And I wish a world that doesn't need UNICEF because that means that there is nothing violent or that, that, cause that means there's no war or anything that could hurt people or their feelings. Thank you.